Now we're going to work on inverted flight. There's basically two ways to get into inverted flight. First is to execute a half loop, sort of like this. Then of course the other is to do a half roll, which I'll do later. Do an inverted turn here. Try and keep the turn a constant radius. And bring it back over the runway. Now I'll roll out. I'll have to add some rudder to keep from losing altitude. You want to add rudder in the same direction as the aileron when rolling out of inverted. When you roll in, it's uh, opposite. The tricky thing about inverted flying is that the rudder inputs seem to be backwards at first. It takes a while to get yourself into the right mindset. After a bit of practice, it will become second nature. But at first, you're probably going to apply the wrong rudder command. Now this time I'll do a half roll into inverted flight. Most planes need a, a bit of down elevator to fly at a constant altitude while inverted. Do another pass here. Establish straight and level first. And then roll inverted. Hold it, just a little bit of down elevator. And roll out. Wouldn't try making any slow, low inverted passes until you've gotten quite a bit of simulator practice. It's pretty easy to push the elevator the wrong way when first learning. I'm going to roll inverted uh, during the turn, and then I'll do one nice slow pass. Practice that rudder. I'll bring it by nice and slow here. There we go. And that's how you do inverted flight.